Hello everyone, Abby here with Scrap and Abby, and I wanted to do a quick video sharing with all of you the um, We Are Memory Keepers Ultimate Fuse Kit. Now, I purchased the Fuse Kit when it came out in, I think, I think it was like a CHA 2015, and um, I did a pre-order, and um, I got it like, was it, it arrived, arrived about a week after I had my brain surgery, so I had to wait for a super long time to even you know, take out the package and all that, that good stuff. So when I saw this on um, one of my crafty sites, I think it was, was it, I think it was Crafty Steels or something like that. And they have this We Are Memory Keepers Fuse Kit and it's specifically purple. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I love it. I love it. And it came with some extra goodies, um, extra goodies and stuff. And that right there will show you what came with this purple kit. I don't know if there were other colors. Um, because I saw the purple and then I put it in my cart, checked out, and I was gone. So I don't even know for sure. But let me kind of, kind of go ahead and pull everything out. This is the first time I'm looking at this. Ooh. I love to kind of save my goodies like this and share, share them with you by opening it on camera. So, oh, so, so pretty. I love this. So here is the actual fuse kit itself. Now, um, the one that I have currently, the one that, um, the original one, you're going to think, Ab Abby, you are a bad, bad crafter, but I have never actually even used it. I I know, I know. Um, long story short, um, you know, I had my brain surgery, and then um, I took about a little over a year off of crafting, and then we moved from Oregon to Florida. A lot of, a lot of my stuff got packed and everything, and I just haven't had a chance to get around and play with it. Now, I took my fuse tool out of the original packaging, I put it into... Um, one of those clear snap cases, but I've never used it. So um, I, I had to get this one because it's purple. <laughs> I just can't help myself. So this is um, the little base that you use to put your um, you know, your tool on whenever you are using it. It kind of rests right on there like that for you. And then this is the actual fuse tool itself. Oh, look at that purple. It's so pretty. I just, I love it so much. And then um, they put these little caps on the... Um, outlet. It's part of the packaging. Let me get that out of the way over there. And I'm so excited that it came with so many extras because when I, I bought my first fuse tool, it was just the fuse tool itself, the little kickstand, and then the different tips. And that was it. So I have all my different tips here, different wheel sizes, and you know, just a lot more variety in this set than what I got from the original kit. That's why I really like purchasing when they have um, a certain item like this, or a planner, or whatever, and you get all these fun extras um, as part of the whole package. So here I have, oh, I did get this ruler too. Sorry about that, I forgot about that. So that came with the um, original Fuse Toolkit. And I'm thinking about probably putting that up for sale if anybody is interested in that. So I will do a separate video, because I'm kind of going to be doing some um, crafty D-stash stuff. And um, there's no reason for me to have two. Um, of these fuse tools, um, so I'm definitely going to keep. I'm definitely going to keep the purple one. <laughs> so this is a little bit longer um, ruler, which is really cool. You can do different designs and stuff by using the template inside here. I love the fact that this is so much longer, um, and this is perfect. So I'm working on a smaller project. I can a project. I can use the smaller one here, which measures measures out to six inches, or excuse me, seven inches, and then I can use this one here, which goes out to twelve. So perfect for like your scrapbooking layouts and things like. That if you scrapbook 12 by 12 which is what I mostly do. So here we have, let's see here, some fun cute little acetate pieces. Let's see if I can get it out of the packaging here because there's kind of a glare on it. Let's see if they're brand specific here. Um, no, it's just they just call it fusible embellishment so get this out. I've been looking at this thing. It's I've had it for probably a week or two, and I'm just like dying to use it and play with it. But I wanted to wait until I did the unboxing, so to speak, with all of you. So here, I don't want to take too much time, but here are like some little embellishment bits. Little, um, you can see like little um, fishtail banners. We got some hearts. We've got some floral on there, and that's the back side. And this one says "Thinking of You." I'm sure that's what that. This one says "Hug" on it. Sorry, my facial pain is pretty spiked, so I'm having um, uh, difficulty speaking, and but I'm going to keep pushing through. So this one has like a camera. You can see it on the back side. Best day. Um, what's that big word say? 
captured. That's pretty cool. So all kind of fun little bits in here. And when I actually go to use this for the first time, I will do a video of that and I'll show you all these in more detail. Okay, so here we have some different bits. Let's see here. This looks like some sequins. Oh, get it on the right side since I'm right-handed. So let's see here. I'm looking at the little sheet here. What's so I have some page protectors, waterfall sleeves in different sizes, three different sizes, um, and then Instax waterfall sleeve, gold foil sleeve embellishments, which is what I these are. Um, fusible cards, fusible shaker cards, shaker pockets, fusible um, embellishments, envelopes, and sequins. So very cool. And that, like I said, that they are different sizes, which is really neat. So let's kind of dig these out and take a look. Oh, I love these sequins love that kind of um, teal color in there. Teal is the official color for trigeminal neuralgia awareness. So I'm tending to lean toward, I've kind of added my my obsession for with purple. Teal, teal's getting thrown in the mix because, because I have that. So, and here are some little sleeves that we're talking about there. And then here are some of the little envelopes, feasible envelopes. So you can make cards if you want to do that. And then we have some of the um, embellishments, which, which is what I was calling these, but these are actually the embellishments. So we've got like some heart in here. It's a little Instax heart and some banners. And like I said, when I go to use for the first time, I will um, have these spread out or spread out so you can see what's in there. And then we have just some um, cards in different sizes. There's that one there. These have, a, these have a, a really nice feel to them. They almost feel like, you know, slicky material. So those are the different designs there. It's got a stripe. I kind of like this collage kind of a look there. And then we have what looks like a polka dot. And we have this kind of the bling, like um, um, the craft. And then we have the, ooh, pretty teal one. It feels like there's one more in there. And then kind of like a lighter, lighter shade there. So got those. And then here are some of the larger cards. And then... Um, I'll just fold one real quick to show you what it looks like since it's kind of long. So these are kind of fun. These are like a trifold card. And um, they can definitely be used for um, as waterfall too. Um, oh, this one's, yeah, this is like a trifold, but it's the shaker card. So that's really pretty. I like that. Really, really pretty one. And we got this nice polka dot. And this has a heart and a circle. This one has the two circles there. And then this one has the really fun craft background with the polka dots. I like that look. Two circles. And this one is kind of like a, what is it? Is it herringbone? Is it, is it called herringbone when the pattern's like this on a floor? I think that, I think that's what it's called. If not, please comment below and let me know if I'm mistaken on that. And this is, I love this one. This is probably my favorite because it looks like, you know, vintage, you know, kind of, kind of shabby chic looking. And then this heart one again with this really cute pink polka dot. So those will be fun to use, and um, I won't use this stuff until I, you know, do my, you know, initial review or whatever on this. So that way I can kind of share with all of you how that works for how it works out for me. So this is the little sheet that comes inside a little booklet, and it I love that it. it's color. It's really nice. Kind of lays out in detail exactly what's in this kit, and then you have the tool instructions right there, and inside. Um, interchangeable tips instructions, which are fun. Um, ruler instructions, the waterfall sleeve instructions there, photo sleeve embellishment, and then shaker card instructions in case you don't know how to use. I know how to do waterfalls. I know how to do shaker cards, that kind of stuff, because I've been, you know, crafting for um, 22 years. So those kinds of things I have learned along the way. But I think it's brilliant that they include this with color step-by-step -step photos because I'm more of a visual person. For anybody who has never used one of the Fuse kits, I haven't because, like I said, my first one's new. But I've watched several videos on, on how to use it. Um, and, and if you want to learn how to do like a waterfall effect and different things like that. So these are some card examples um, that you can create using the, all of the, the different bits and embellishments that they included in this kit. So that's really cool. I like that too because sometimes they're, you know, you might be crafting with something and you're like, gosh, I need some inspiration or whatever. So it's kind of cool they included those um, on the back of the packet. This is going to be kind of shiny, sorry, but this is um, the sleeves that they talked about. And then... Let me grab the waterfall ones here. I mean, I've created waterfalls from scratch myself. So we got these little packets in here. So we have this size, and then this smaller one, 
and we have um, this is like the Instax size it looks like and then this is like the little waterfall packet so I will open these these up and kind of show you more once I have a chance to actually play with this and this is the mat and I am so thrilled that this came with this as well because um, you, you whenever you purchase the first one the first release they did and have have these extras and stuff and I love it because it's purple and we are memory keepers and it's for fuse of course you can use this for any of your crafting purposes but it's nice to kind of have this um, mat this little craft mat because this is um, you know you don't want to be doing using your fuse tool like directly on your craft table or whatever unless you don't care if it gets marks and stuff in it but this is kind of like a self-healing mat and um, you know you can use your fuse tool on here when you're working on different projects and I love that it's 12 by 12 so whenever I'm working on my um, larger scrapbook layouts I won't have um, have any worry about getting marks or anything on my actual craft table so really really cool so I'm excited to get um, a chance to play with this I have to finish up a couple design team projects first I need to um, you know get those done before I can have some um, creative Abby play but I'm really thrilled to have this and I'm just so excited it's purple oh it's a sickness I tell you so I will be sure to do uh film myself using this for the first time and kind of showing you the little um, gold embellishments and bits and things like that in more detail so comment below and let me know if you have the fuse tool whether it's this one here with the kit or whether it's the first release that came out I think it was like 2015 um early 2015 late 2014 and um, I'd love to know, um, you know, how you've liked using it and what different projects you've used on it. And if you have a blog or photos or video, please um, put the links down below. I'd love to go check out what you do and help support your channel and um, as well. So thanks everybody for watching. Happy scrapping, happy planning, happy crafting. And for the purpose of this video, happy fusing. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye.